All right, here we are. Example two with factored form of the parabola. And if you remember, the factored form looks like y equals a, x minus p, x minus q. And we want to find our equation in factored form. I have these three points. How are we going to do that, Mr. Cole? We are okay. stuck. So we can't do this with any old three points, can we? We can, but we can do it when we know what we've we got here. We've got x-intercepts and we've got y-intercepts. Right, these are our x-intercepts. Ooh, sweet, that helps out a lot. You have to notice that these are x-intercepts and this is my y-intercept. We'll use that later. Right, so if, these are my x-intercepts. P and Q are my x-intercepts. Ooh, that's handy. So I can substitute them in and I go x, ooh, this is negative so, and a negative 2. What do I have to do then to the signs? Okay, so this is plus 2. Plus 2. So x, when x is negative 2, you get an intercept. Right. Yep. Okay, and then x... Minus 5. Minus 5. So when x is 5, you get 0. Right, and so now I have to now try and figure out how to get the a value there. How am I going to figure out a? Okay, so this is just a simple substitution. I think we can put our x in as 0 and our y in as 15. 15 equals a, 0 plus 2, 0 minus 5. And so 15 is a, well this is 2 times negative 5. So it's 15 equals negative 10a. So. And so a then, divide both by 5 to simplify that, I get 3 over 2 and it's a negative fraction. And so to answer the final question, put it in factored form, y equals negative 3 over 2, x plus 2, x minus 5. Okay.